So this is how the Vikram lander is going to look like at 6, 4 p.m. when it's going to land and the Pragyan rover comes out of it for further experiments. But I'm on a virtual lunar surface. The one tracking the real lunar surface from Israel headquarters in Bengaluru is my colleague Akshita Nand Gopal. Over to you now, Akshita, for this special telecast. Thanks very much, Pooja. Technically, you're closer to the moon than I am. But let's get you the latest updates. Hello and welcome. I'm Akshita Nandakopal, getting you all the latest updates from right outside the ISRO, the ISRO Center, where the Mission Control Complex is. The team that's behind Chandrayaan, the brains behind Chandrayaan, all seated meters away from me. And they'll be tracking the time very closely, with less than eight hours now to go for the landing of Chandrayaan-3 on the moon's surface. It technically starts at 5.20, so I would say it's less than eight hours at this point to go. So the countdown well and truly underway. The news break that we got you just a few moments ago is that all commands have been uploaded onto the lander, onto Vikram as expected. Uh, ISRO scientists following procedure, following the timeline that they wanted to. So as per schedule, they've loaded in the commands, but it will be locked in a few hours from now in the afternoon at about 1 or 2 p.m. we're hearing. Once they get a sense that their forecast of the weather, of the climatic conditions, all of that is exactly how they expect it to be. If there's any sort of change there, they will go ahead and abort the landing for today. But for now, looking as that the commands have already been sent across to the lander, it looks like everything is getting the go-ahead. And so far, all good. Israel uh, scientists have sent across the message that they're all cool, they're confident that this time around they've got it right. Uh, the descent will begin at 5.20 p.m. as expected. The live telecast also will begin at 5.20, so you'll be able to actually catch it live as the lander Vikram gets closer and closer to the moon's surface. Uh, in all, from 5.20, while the procedure will begin, the last 50 to 17 minutes, according to ISRO, is crucial. It's something that most space scientists refer to as those minutes of terror. In this case, it'll be 15 to 17 minutes of terror. And it's at that particular point that you will see Vikram making its way down slowly. Remember, he's going to be going down from 6,000 kilometers per hour to absolute stillness. And that in a matter of 15 to 17 minutes. So you can imagine how nail-biting that time will be, particularly because in that time, everything's automated. The design, uh, you know, the tech that the scientists have put in, all the hard work and, uh, uh, you know, the toil that they've really done for the last many years, all of that will come into effect in those last 15 minutes because they won't be able to control anything at that point. It will essentially be all automated. That's when the lander will actually touch down on the moon's surface. A number of parameters that will be looked into. Why you ask at 1 or 2 p.m. is when things will be locked and loaded? Well, essentially, they look at what the climatic conditions are on the south pole of the moon. It's freezing temperatures there of minus 300 degrees and worse, in fact. So they want to ensure that the forecast that they've got about it being the perfect conditions for Chandrayaan-3 to touch down remains. If there's any change, there's a lot of unpredictability, as you can imagine, associated with uh, space, associated with the lunar surface. So they're going to keep that area uh, free to ensure that if they need to, that leeway, if they need to go ahead and change plans, they can still do it.